Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kenny, aka Meet the Ghost. And this video has been a long time coming. I am so sorry, I'm so far behind. Um, what happened was I had goofed up on my characters earlier, so I had to make new characters. And um, <laughs> I ended up goofing up on them and had to do it all over again. So with my new set, we're going to go through it. So here, we're helping out a doctor who has a patient that's a little bit odd. She summons creatures um, with her. If you need to have the scholar tag to notice that there's something wrong with her, like there's a circular incision on her head. Seen how earlier she had just summoned four creatures. Uh, you take them out and you hit her, but just not enough to kill her. You want to make sure she survives and then you want to have Swan hold her down and check out her head and pull out that worm in her head. Okay, sew it up slowly. And this is how you get the hidden trophy for her, the good doctor. And my mega grenade. Well looks like the crowd alright. Just make sure to keep the blind in any case you're in for a treat, laddie. Better than sweet. Early on in the very first area, there's a, um, an arena. There's uh, three parts to it. Um, this is the second part. The first part, you're attacked by um, a very weak group of uh, two soldiers. Uh, I believe one is an archer, one is a sword handler, uh, a hound, and a mage up on an upper area. In this one, you're blindfolded, so you don't have very much range. Um, I have the pawn, so I have the free... Um, one AP of movement in my turn, so I can walk pretty far. So I brought my character up. Um, since I can't aim at anybody because the blindfold, I I'm using AOE attacks. It just uh, knocked them all out. And um, I chose to fight alone because, uh, eh, why not? <laughs> he blocked his shot. Now we're gonna go. Um, oh no, not gonna use that one. It's not close enough. So let's move him up, and let's use the, bri the blinding radiance instead. Oh, he didn't even survive. <laughs> she lifts your blindfold and nudges your nose with her. Nice to see the cub has some claws. Yeah, so she she doesn't accept you, you your challenge unless you. Uh, and you defeat her foe or her her people while you're blindfolded. She winks over her so now we have the right to challenge the champion, and I'm gonna solo her again. Nice show out there. Your sport shall be a scotcher. Who you taking no one. along? You only... No one. Just go. Go on a stick and handle it all by himself. <laughs> So now that we no longer have the, uh, the blindfolds on, we can actually have ranged um, maneuvers. Um, her defense. teleporter. Ah, oh, there we go. We'll just throw her far away from us so it does a bunch of, like, fall damage to her. Uh, put her out way in the far corner. That should be enough. At least make her waste her EP. Nope, it was enough to take her out. Nice. Yeah, you want to make sure you do all these so you can um, because you have a trophy at the end of it after you defeat all the arenas. Let's just give this guy your actual attacks. And fireball. The dwarf bounces up and down with glee 
then... Extraordinary, son. Just extinct. Just praise your earning, though. The dwarf bellows out to all within earshot. I proclaim thee the champion of the Driftwood Arena. Woohoo! <laughs> we pick our prize, and we're out of here. Okay, so this is, um, in my last video I did show where this vault is, but we just grabbed Anathema. This time, because I actually have the Scholar tag, um, I could talk to that ghost and, um, get the book that we need from her to do much more of, um, Blood Moon Island that we should have been able to handle. That was where my, my big goof up was on the first one, is that it, it wouldn't allow me to take my other two characters and give them tags. I thought it would, but... Yeah. Then I goofed up again on the next batch, uh, where I made characters that I didn't ask for permission for their names. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want anybody to be mad. But yep, so we got our book. So we're going to take... There, it takes two silver bars to complete this mission, what we're going to do. Uh, this is a forge where you want to take your silver bar, you want to melt it down. The second silver bar is actually right next to it, in a box. So, where's the silver? Okay, we're going to turn it into a handle. There it is on the, the far right. Okay, hold X. Nice. I guess. Because two of the trap doors that we're going to go in, we'll need them to open the door. Oh, it looks like I gotta give it to the guy. I thought it could have forged a Terran right there. <laughs> Alright, so we got the book from the lady, and we have the scholar tag so we can actually read the book. So now we can sing to this uh, statue. Looking closer, you and it'll let us in. So nothing happens. Oh wait, wrong one. Oh, oh there it is, there it is. Yep, so read the, the hymn from the book. From stone to there it goes. So, um, there are three boss fights in... Oh no, two boss fights in the three of the tombs. One, you just promise to help somebody take a girl to another area um, in the into at arcs and um, you'll go to school find out her real name and you can help her out there's a ghost in here that we have to use our spirit vision to see um, he's gonna help us get past that door There he is. The spirit of a young robed man paces the chamber anxiously. So yeah, you um, did my order say you take the girl to Ark, the and then you'll find the schoolyard, and you can Some talk to people there or the ghost there, and they'll tell you her real name, and then you have a uh, another boss fight to deal with before you uh, save her. Uh -huh. Are you sure you can help her? What are you going to do? Hmm. My brothers were confident. But nobody else is coming to help, are they? I'll let you in, but promise me one thing. Whatever happens, take her away from this place. Far away. The spirit can't help. I knew you had good in you. The moment I laid eyes on you. Take good care of her. Okay, now the ghost is gonna open the door for us. I'm not sure if this is a fight or not. I think I just gotta ask the cat for permission. Um, yeah, let's get down there. Talk to the cat first. There it is. Buttons. So, um, my Red Prince character is the only one that has a pet pal ability to talk to animals, so we're using him to talk to Buttons. The tension eases out from the cat's skeletal form. Go on, I'll be watching. The young girl lies still and silent in the center of the floor, bound by chains. Diff 
Harm my mistress, and you'll live to regret it. Okay, now we just break these pillars here. Yeah, I don't want to hit the cat. Be careful, button, stay out of the way. <laughs> silently on the floor, eyes open and staring. Her only movement is the tiniest rise and f the girl's eyes don't even flicker as you lean in. Her fingers seem to grip you ever so slightly. Looks like she's trapped in a dream. The girl's grip tightens. A flush of color spreads across her... So this is the easiest of the three. Um, one of them, it's just, you can just easily just beat up the person while they're chained up and that'll be that. But well, then there's another one where, um, if you beat the person that's possessed, you will get possessed by the demon. And the stronger you are, the worse it is. So we're going to do a cheat, we're going to do a trick on that one. We're going to do an exploit on that one. Envelop the him twice winged keeper sock from stone. Okay, so we got rid of that. So, if you're wondering, I'm using exploits, not cheats, in the game um, to make my people powerful, which I've shown in a previous uh, video of mine so I still do get the uh, the uh, trophy achievements for this game if you use any of the gift bags that the game gives you unfortunately it doesn't allow you to uh, get the trophies a trembling spirit rings <laughs> What are you doing here? What do you want? You mustn't linger. You mustn't remain. One must not mean harm to do it. Please, go. His hand shakes. Okay, which one are we up As against? A priest, I had a patient. A dastardly demon held him in its grasp. I planned to torture the demon until it gave up its grip over them. So I lied to the others. Better one soul damned. Yeah, this is the one we're going to have to save the, um, I think it's a dwarf that got possessed. But I'm going to try and keep the dwarf alive. Um, you're going to have to hurt him to a point to where the demon will get a, will go away, but not kill him. And then you have to um, kill the demon. So, so let's take one of those uh, levers that we made. Oh, I see we gotta talk to the uh, the There's guy again. To be more to it. You should go from here. This is no place for the living. My vigil is eternal. It won't cease until I'm convinced. Truly convinced. Something might change for the better. For now, we remain as we must. I guess we gotta convince him again. As the levers fixed, you could Here we go. Perhaps you could extract. But you'd have to be able to contain him, defeat him, once he'd been loosed. Who am I to say if you're prepared for that? So the trick that we're going to use here after we get in is that we're going to 
destroy most of the shackles, not all. And um, we're gonna have a totem and a minion fight for us in there while we have our characters outside waiting. So that way, when he does leave the dwarf, it doesn't possess our people. The dwarf's face flickers and see, there it is. Okay, see, so, yeah, so camp out here. We got our totem up there. And let's take out this last post. Okay, now let's run away and summon a, a incarnate. There we go. So every incarnate come in. He's gonna beat him up, and then there we go. See, he's not quite dead. The the demon left because it's not a person there. It's our minion. It'll be fine. So we'll have our guy from the outside of the fight hit it to where it's almost dead, and have the minion finish him off, and we'll be fine. And we'll be able to save the uh, the dwarf without fear of any of our people being possessed. The dwarf See, moves his there he is. At odd angles, as though he's unused to speaking. His mouth tightens into a joyfully awkward smile. The one who set me free. I <laughs> owe him everything. Everything. Alright, so we're just going to collect our reward here. And then we're going to be on our way to the last one. Okay. So for this one, um, you're going to need another, another silver um, lever. That's why we grabbed the uh, the other silver bars earlier. Um, but you also have to convince the ghost in front to allow you to, to go in the room with her. So whoever you have that talks to this ghost that convinces... Um, Who goes there? Actually, I think it's either either your main I character or the character that convinces him to oh, let you through is the one that has to defeat the you character in the room um, to get the reward. You I mean, you'll get the experience, the but to get the actual, like, reward. The easiest way, because she's not actually possessed, she's just a villain, you, you just kill her while she's chained up. Um, kill it if you can, but do not let it speak. I beseech you, do not... Yeah, because she's got a charm ability. You don't want to listen to her. You have to have a high enough uh, resistance towards, like, uh, strength or intelligence against her. Kill it if you. I watched the game. Lie. You lie. Okay, so, um. I'm not sure if I got this in one of my previous videos, but. We're going to take out the Black Ring guy in front of this uh, tree. We're going to get the name for um, for Jehan, for Dr. Deva. It's uh, Adam Tramalik. So we're going to kill off the uh, the Black Ring Reavers first. Okay, and after this fight, we're going to be attacked by um, by the advocate, the, the doctor's advocate here. It's a lizard. And, um... Because we, we didn't talk to him before fighting these guys, we didn't make a deal with him. So he tries to threaten us, tell us that, oh, we're allowed to live with our, to leave with our lives. But no, uh, we're gonna you know, hammer him out too. This fight is about to come to an end. And there we are. And here comes the advocate. Resume your business. My my, that my master empowered me to treat with your kind. Now we have struck no such accord. In yeah. return for your unsolicited action, you shall be rewarded with your life. There he goes, threatening us, so... You have a course. Yeah, let's just that take him out. nothing for you on this bloody rock. Oh, God.
one of the characters here has some really good armor um, or gloves. Which yeah, one of the guys are mind manipulated, so he's he had no choice but to help out the advocate. Okay, so after this, we just talk to the tree, and then we can go see Jehan after. And here we are on our way to Jehan. I kind of talks a lot, so I sped it up. Listen to the creature scream. <laughs> There he goes. It sounded a lot better. Uh, um, that quick little high pitched scream. Okay. So I know the last time I showed me beating up these uh, elves here, but I'm um, gonna on top of this one. I I didn't show how I actually got them to attack. So this I'm just gonna show how to get the fight started. Um, I'm not going to actually show the fight, so... Um, for spring, you want to use blood. From within the totem, and other spring. There we go. And for winter, you want to um, wet the ground first, because you want to give more ice. Here, use the... Oh, use a move like Winter Blast. Uh, here we go. Somewhere within the winter. Okay, and for fall, we want to create a thunderstorm. You know, so we want clouds and stuff, so we're going to make some rain. And we're going to shock the ground. And then we're going to heat up the, um, the water. We're going to use a fireball on it. Make some steam. So you got um, thunder clouds like that. Okay, and we're gonna use a laser ray for this one, it's, which is the easiest way to make the fiery um, clouds. And that's how you get the fight to start. The Red Prince stands stunned when he sees the woman you were about to address. So in my other um, playthrough, woman, I, dreamt I don't have um, original characters. Soul, so if you do have original characters. This is a pretty big deal for the Red Prince, is to meet her. Um, if you can make it to the Arcs um, and save her, you can um, get a uh, the strongest summoning, the uh, the dragon, um, the dragonling, where you have that egg that'll hatch into a, a, a young dragon, a uh, red dragon with wings. Which is weird because that's actually your child, or the red prince's child. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I try to make all of my people um, happy. All the main characters happy, so that when it comes time to choose uh, who becomes divine, that they'll stand by my choice and allow me to become divine instead of, you know, shove their way in. <laughs> a sound reaches you from the water, some kind of moan. You find a nice spot in the shade. As Sada and the Red Prince walk down the wagon steps, their commander is a vile. Well, well, well. Look who's coming up for air. So yeah, these guys are from the House of Shadows, and um, we found out that she's actually um, spoken for by the God King, by the God King. So, because her soul is bound, um, so we have to actually find a way to save her, which you can in the later game from uh, an item called the uh, Sworn Breaker, which. We're gonna show later on. <laughs> oh, well spoke. The Red Prince gently cups Sada's face in his hand. Sada, my sweet, our meeting has been shrouded in mystery. And I love you. Oh, ain't that as time for you and your? He grins widely. I've always had a soft spot for Red. Okay, so we're just gonna we killed off the rest of his minions, and so now we're just gonna kill off these dudes. Where have you 
got. The Red Prince fondles a satin. She gave me this handkerchief, the longing of a lifetime squeezed into a few short hours of perfection. I will, won't I? Thank you. He hugs you back. The when you finally pull away, we've we've become. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go after Elmira. Um, in my last video, I said you could get the um, an ancient tablet from the back mines to either give to Riker or to the succubus Elmira. And this creature is the uh, boss fight before we get her. So we're gonna sneak, and we're gonna use our arrow to do some massive damage to him. He's gonna know where we are, and his minions, since they can't fly, they're gonna be stuck there. <laughs> Here he comes. This fight can be a pain, but it's not that bad. Not since we separated him from his, his people. And he's not hiding above us. Use a tentacle. Bam. Meet your maker. Yeah, let's summon some rocks underneath these that group. There they go. And now for that last guy. Uh, he's right outside the range. That's okay, let's go closer. Magic defense, and now let's throw him down the cliff. This is from our people, so wait, if he does survive, he's at easy range. It's dead. Nope, he died. Good. <laughs> Alright, so in the northern area, you'll find this. Uh, this is Almira. The press of the blade. Perhaps I'll give you a chance to explain yourself. She lowers her weapon. You're no ordinary traveler, are you? You positively reek of source. Are you the one responsible for this mayhem surrounding us? And whoever turned this stretch, you look like someone who wouldn't turn. She gestures to where a young magister is propped. This is Mahali. Mahali put himself at great risk to. But then, well, I'm sure you saw for yours. There was also some form of dick. So, now we must escape this place. Help us, and I will help you. Thank you. Once you've helped Mahali and I pass... Her eyes speak volume. All that you want. Right now, she would normally tell you this she because it's so usually surrounded in that, that odd um, fog that we got, that storm that we got rid of. We killed that creature and earlier, so... Now they should be fine. You, realize that I... you have my word, though. I will not... She grins. Let's see. She kisses you. She Oh, here we go. Thrust upon thrust. Slowly the heat abates as she releases you. Oh, poor Mahali's just standing there watching us. Once you've caught your breath, <laughs> you have helped me to escape the Black Ring, swear allegiance. You have to understand, Lucian, once you are sworn, I discovered the existence and while enslaved by the Majesty. She smiles. Yeah, so she's going to ask for the ancient tablet. The same one that, that Riker has uh, asked you for, so you have your choice of either giving it to him or to her. Who needs thralls? By the by. Okay, let's take our most expensive item we can get from her so we can turn around and sell it. And let's go. Okay, so here on the ship, you'll see her again. We remain vulnerable while at anchor. And I'm going to give her the, uh, any progress with my request, dear? the tablet. There we go. I knew I could here. That's some nice chunk of experience. And a new ring. Okay, so Tarquin, I have both parts of... Um, he of anathema, and it drones in so the you give him the thing of the the pieces, of sin, and of the living. Restore my twin, um, you have to wait until the um, you get it to the arcs. So the about two more chapters after this, because the nameless isle is next. Anathema. 
Within reach. And um, at that point, he'll give you the, the weapon, which is a two-handed, really, really powerful weapon, but it breaks if you kill one enemy, so you want to use that against the boss of the game. So either that will be this, the, the Source King, or it'll be Lucian, depending on your choice. How fortunate that the hilt is already fascinating, and it told you exactly where to find it. But yeah, because I have the scholar tag, I can understand what this what the piece of anathema are saying. They probably wince whenever a black cat came around. The object quivers as Tarquin nears. So since we already got both, we're just gonna give them both right now. The past and present slain. Absolution and redemption await the one whose sins are many. Oh, very good. But yeah, that's how you get the the um, hidden trophy for uh, creating, for obtaining anathema, is by giving him both pieces of it, and then waiting until you get to the arcs, and then getting the weapon back from him after you speak with him there. Lovely. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must work. Tarquin turns away, but continues to mutter excitedly, almost religiously, about anathema. I'll take the rune. <laughs> nice. Seems like I've got a real Oh, you want to pick up oh, to lock pick that skull. Don't use the jewel that you find from Mortis. Pick up lock pick it because that right there is a hidden achievement. Um In here there's a little puzzle that um it can be really annoying to do, so I'm going to save right now, and then I'm going to switch over and uh, show you how it's done. Make it easy. So you use the spirit vision to see that uh, thing up ahead where it tells you um, the layout. So you want to move these jars in a place. Oh, you could put your people there instead, but um, there's enough jars, so I, I just use the jars. So I make sure you get that particular squares that I'm putting them on. So it was that last right one. Now we're going to go to uh, to this one, the row two two, and then we're going to do uh, two four. Oh no, we did uh, three two. Row three, four. Oh, I can't use the rat. Uh, just use another one of these. There we go. Okay, and row four, three. There we go. So, there are uh, skeletons and jars all around us, but what we're going to do is we're going to skip them. And oh, I already fought them. I, I I annoyed one of them, and they all woke up and attacked me. So I just killed them all. Um, the green button allows him to get free. I don't believe he's tied to a hidden trophy, but you can follow him around, and um, you can either side with him at the very end. If you kill him at your third encounter, um, which is going to be um, in the forest, um, at, at like this uh, stone tablet area, um, you'll get a lot of experience for fighting him. Um, the creature begged for release, but can it be trusted? I don't, I don't think there's a, a hidden trophy associated he with him. It was just to lock pick his your way in. Slay, said ancient evil. We need to yeah. follow it. Lucky for us, I've got a knack for finding trouble. Okay, so the last hidden trophy, it's gonna be an egg hunt. You just gotta look f um, in the Reapers co Rick Wreckers Coast. You wanna look for um, all these. 
white eggs and just pop them. This can be one of the most annoying things. Uh, if you miss any here, it also might have some where we just saved that skeleton from earlier. Um, but yeah, I mean, from all my videos, uh, this would be uh, where the last uh, trophy is for um, for the Reaper's Coast. Um, yeah, so let's just pop these eggs and I'm gonna call it a day for now. But thank you all for joining me. You guys have a great day!